Hey everybody, welcome back behind the bar. Um, I'm already picking it up, staring at it. We're still in Vegas. We're still in Vegas. We've been drinking for a bit and it's like noon. <laughs> Here. Um, what are we drinking tonight? Why don't you tell me about we it? We are drinking the one and the only cable car. This is the 2014 vintage yeah. from the Lost Abbey. So we've done some Lost Abbey whales together. Yes, we've done we... the Duck Duck Goozes. Mm-hmm. Goose Eye. Have we reviewed any other Lost Abbey beer? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, so they brew this. This is a sour, a wild ale, right? Mm -hmm. They brew this for uh, the bar called Tornado in San Francisco. Um, and there's also a Tornado location in San Diego. So you can go. They used to, I think they used to release this beer um, at the brewery. But I think these days, if I'm not mistaken, it's uh, Tornado only. You can go. And I think it's $80. Is it $80? Something like that. It's like 80 bucks. You can go and share this bottle with some friends or a wife who might like sours. Is she mad we're drinking this? She, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> we'll edit that out. She's not here. Um, yeah, so Cable Car is kind of their, their whaliest. That, I mean, it, we talked about it before we started the video, but Izzy is kind of the, the whaliest of Lost Abbey Bros. He's playing Mario Kart. Sorry. Um, By the way, the Nintendo Switch is very fun. Yeah. Uh, so, 2014 Vintage. Um, just wild, though. I don't know if they... Yeah, I don't know if they... Um, like with uh, Veritas, they kind of do different fruits. I think it's the same base I don't think beer, so. but I don't know if this is the same beer every year. They just brew it. And... I think it's kind of the same every year, except the the 2011, which was the Creek, the uh, CCK. Yeah. I think it was 11 or 12. Which is like really hard to get, right? Yeah, they only did it like 50 bottles or 150 bottles or something. Crazy. So, uh, pours out Juicy Juice. Looks like a New England style IPA. Yeah, it's got that hazy like lemonade thing that we always say with uh, yeah. sours. Yeah, it just looks like hazy lemonade, just like straw, like dark straw mm -hmm. um, juice. It's funny because we've been drinking hops and stouts all yes. weekend so far, so this will be a nice little change. Yeah, we haven't taste. had a sour yet, have we? I, I drank, a, I had a goza for breakfast. <laughs> Them breakfast Thank gozas. you, Patrick, by the way. I drank that never forever. I didn't try that. Um, it was delicious, but I can smell this from here. Yeah, it smells good. Um, let's check it out. Oh. That smells acetic. <laughs> that is. that is... the word? Extremely You're the vocab guy, right? Acetic. <laughs> it's got that vinegar binus. thing going on, it's right? Binus. <laughs> binus. Uh, huge barnyard funk. Like yeah, it's funky and it's got that lemon. It's like bright lemon. Lemon like, vanilla. Yeah. This that kind of reminds me of when we smelled. Uh, was it the O nine Duck Duck Goose or twenty eleven or whatever? The thirteen 13? was the one that was like super super acidic. That this smells sour. Thing. Right? Maybe yeah. not sour. This no. might, it might not be to like the side project sour, but this is pretty tart. Super sour. There's a funkiness to this though. Like there's that barnyard mm -hmm. straw. I just can't. I I can't get over how. Not can't get over, but like what's popping out to me is the uh, like the acidity that yeah. vin the vinegar kind of thing. Yep. My mouth is watering because I my brain is telling me this is gonna be sour. But it's huge. Great nose. Like, huge nose. Yeah. Like it's, it's like sin it smells sour. Like it's singeing the mm -hmm. inside of my nose. <laughs> Did you taste it? Yeah. Is it sour? A little bit, yeah, yeah. Well, Instead of a little bit. Too. Let's dive it in. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. My lips are chapped. I just found that out. <laughs> yeah, like when your lips are chapped and that happens. Dehydration not, is real. It's not. True. It's not, like, puckering, though. No. Yeah. It's got more funkiness to it. Um, it's, it's got a good kind of, like, amount of, like, sourness up front and yeah. then it just kind of mellows out it kind of goes into that lemony vanilla acidity and then rolls into the funk like it's not like really forward barnyard funk like a right. like a like a saison or something, or something. Yeah. but it's i mean it's really balanced yeah super balanced that's really really good Ooh, that's delicious god that's really there's so much flavor that you get from this beer that it imparts all these like the lemon the vanilla the, that's weird yeah there's almost lot. like a stone fruit mm -hmm. big stone fruit there's there. a nice there is a nice vanilla yeah in there but again like i don't know what's up with my palate this weekend but even the the barrel aged stouts that we i still don't get like i wanted like oaky kind of woody something and i don't yeah there's you don't get a ton of barrel from mm. this it's so weird that i've wanted that in the last couple of beers that we drank yeah, because I don't even usually pay attention. I to think that. we will get that from the next style. Do you? I really do. This is fantastic. I love this because this is not overly sour. It's tart, or it's not overly sour. It, this, so I've had this beer before, um, and I remember it being much more sour than it is now. I don't know if in the last two years it's really died down because I had it about two years ago. Well, well, and in fairness, we've been drinking today. This is true. So that might have affected. Well, you think it would stand out even more if that's it was true. Acidic and puckering. Um, 
This is really fun. This is great. Though. This is like this I like is this. like for you and I are kind of on the same page. Like um, some of the beers we've done, like the 09 Duck Duck Goose, or like some of the side project stuff. Mm. It's just puckering. Yeah. Like there's a place for that. This starts off that way, but it just goes into this like super almost like that 09 Duck Duck Goose. Yeah, type. it just mellows out as it goes across yeah. your palate. It, you, you do you get that lemony kind of acidity right up front and then it goes like that vanilla kind of like you said it's a stone fruity there still is a good amount of lemon in it though yeah. uh, but not like crazy acidic lemon it's like yeah. that kind of lemonade lemon mm-hmm. yeah lemonade that's yeah. perfect actually great. it finishes very lemonade um, with a little bit of that funk I, lo- I love this this beer. is great this is fantastic carbonations I mean it's perfect I mean considering it's three years old yeah and that's I mean, I'm going to have to go, I, I'm going to have to take my wife to Tornado and have some of this. Yeah. I would gladly, I, I have no problem going to a bar paying $80 for this bottle. It's like 40 bucks to split it, whatever. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm like, hey, bring your 40 bucks, wife. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> but I'm just saying, if you've got three, four friends, I mean, yeah, I'd ahead. have no problem paying 20 bucks to drink this. Yeah, for right? sure. Yeah, no, I would it's do It's a great beer. Thing. I mean, secondary, this is going for $250, 300 bucks a bottle sometimes. Yeah. I mean, you'd have, I'd have no problem doing that. Yeah. No. This is great. This is like top tier. Again, this is a good sour for people who don't like overly acidic or just crazy in your face. This sour. is super. So the one thing I'll say about this that I haven't mentioned yet, it's super flavorful in that some of these beers like this can get watery mm-hmm. almost or something like that. This is full mouthfeel. Yeah. Full for for this style of beer. Mm-hmm. Full mouthfeel, full flavor all the way through. Yeah. Super balanced. Um, I'm telling just, you, a lot of people like to shit on Lost Abbey just because they're listen, their beers are expensive. You're gonna get duck duck goose bottles after fees and everything it's $46 for a bottle of beer Veritas is the same way I don't know what cable car was back then but yeah I mean when you're talking about how much shit beer you buy not meaning to buy it like I pay $41 for a bottle of beer from them you'll enjoy it open it with a bunch of friends share it it's a cool experience yeah this beer is fantastic yeah, um, as far as a grade for me, I'm like probably that 98, 99 range. Yeah. It's not, it's not hundreds for me. It's not blowing my mind. If it was right. maybe a little bit more acidic, I might bump it up a notch. If this, if this was somehow like fruited, I would probably oh, yeah. be. Could you imagine in the other some, room with my pants some or some apricot? In this? Yeah, that would be insane. Yeah. I would love to try Cable Car Creek. I think that would be really fun to drink. Yeah, um, but, but this, I mean, it's worth. The this hype. is this is world class. It's yeah. a plus. It's all that good stuff. Yeah. So that's 2014 Cable Car live from Las Vegas. If you can hear that, there's like some sort of DJ or something. I think it's Top Golf. Is it the Top Golf? There's a top, so we can see the Top Golf. I went Top Golfing last night, actually this morning. (laughs) Yeah, it was like 2 a.m. One in the morning. Domination. Uh, Absolute domination. That place was, there was all kinds of people there. It was open till 2. If you've never been to Top Top Golf, do it. Yeah, especially the one in Vegas is super fun. That was huge TV. There was chicks in hot tubs. There was Stephen A. Smith (laughs) out in the thing on big screens. It was pretty cool. Good times. It's good times. Um, all right. Well, we'll leave it there, guys. That's a Cable Car 2014. Um, oh, Treehouse tweeting. Um, <laughs> thanks for coming behind the bar. <laughs> Thank you for the likes, subscribes, and comments. Until next time. Cheers. Cheers.